Over the 40 years that we've lived on Creek's Bend in the Northern Rivers, an ecological catastrophe has rolled across the countryside. A form of dieback, linked to the invasive weed lantana, now devastates eucalypt forests along much of Australia's eastern seaboard. We're here to tell you how, on our property, we cure the disease known as Bellminer associated dieback. We'll discuss the problem and describe the solution. Back in the 1980s, foresters believed that even if you heavily logged them, native forests would keep coming back. They argued that felling mature trees rejuvenates a forest, and selective logging makes way for younger trees by letting in more light and space. But then, the destructive connection between logging, lantana and dieback became all too obvious. By the late 1980s, lantana had taken over the Toonambar Valley. The weed had replaced much of the understory. You couldn't see through the forest. You certainly couldn't walk through it. In 1999, we noticed that Toonambar's forests were changing colour. They were going from the normal blue-green of eucalypts to an unhealthy-looking brown, and it was spreading in a front across the valley. Trees were dying, and the forest rang with the calls of bell miners. Lantana hedges as tall as houses formed an impenetrable green thicket where only ticks and bush lice thrived. Once abundant koalas, gliders, possums and other creatures were disappearing fast. We used to hear lots of koalas and see gliders, but not any more. The truth is that logging native forests is no free lunch, and lantana-associated dieback is readily curable. Forestry cannot be all take and no give. Forests are not like mines. Their productivity cannot be increased by just cutting more trees and going further into old growth areas. Forests have to be managed like gardens and farms. How long can you grow vegetables if you never weed your garden? How can a farm go on producing if you don't prevent invasive weeds from taking over? Dieback might be a complex problem, but it has a simple solution. Remove the lantana and keep it out until the forest recovers. It's as simple as that. Saving our dieback-affected forests is very doable, and killing lantana can be easy and fun. It comes down to our choice. It's a matter of opinion that old-growth forest is better than a weed patch. Mother Nature doesn't care if our grandchildren inherit nothing but lantana. She's not going to fix the problem. It's up to all of us how much of Australia's once magnificent forest estate we pass on. For us, it makes no sense to let our forests degrade when we know how to repair them cheaply and easily. We reckon it's time to create a lantana-free northern rivers. This is the first step to curing lantana-associated dieback along Australia's eastern seaboard. The job is doable. The economic, environmental and social benefits are compelling.